hey, this is Tom, and this thing can literally send Tesla to $450 per share. Hey, this is Tom Nash, and I'm raising my price target for Tesla. This was Tom Nash's opening statement in a recent uploaded video on his channel. Then, after talking about a couple of things about the EV company, Tom Nash proceeded to share his Tesla stock price target. He noted that these numbers are conservative. So, for the bear case, he announced a price tag of $408. For reference, it is currently sitting at $253. For middle ground, he gave it a $914, while for the bull case, Tom's five-year price target is $1,400. I'm raising my price target from $1,200 to $1,400 based on the latest earnings from Tesla, which were phenomenal despite what the mainstream media is telling you, he said. He proceeded to explain, the earnings were great, the margins may have come down, but the net income went up, the revenue went up, the entire company is doing better than ever, so don't let them fool you. Tom's $1,400 Tesla stock price target is too far off from that of ARK. For context, ARK's updated open source Tesla model yields an expected value per share of $2,000 in 2027. The bull and bear cases are approximately $2,500 and $1,400 per share. In the bearish scenario, ARK modeled a 25% probability that Tesla could be worth $1,400 per share or less in 2027. Meanwhile, in a bullish scenario, there is a 25% probability that Tesla could be worth $2,500 per share or more in 2027. According to the open source model, Tesla's prospective robo-taxi business line is a key driver, contributing 67% of expected enterprise value and 64% of expected EBI TDA in 2027. Across ARC's simulation set, electric vehicles account for 47% of revenues in 2027 at substantially lower margins than robotaxi revenue. Even without the robotaxi fleet, Tesla is already way ahead of the competition. For one, Tesla has been developing its full self-driving software since 2016. The advantage that Tesla has in software and in data is unparalleled compared to peers, said ARC Invest's Director of Investment Analysis and Institutional Strategies Tasha Keeney. It is worth noting, however, that Kathy Wood's ARK Investment Management sold 28,659 shares of Tesla last month for about $8.41 million based on the day's closing price of $293.34 according to Tesla's daily trade disclosure. Still, as of July 19th, Tesla is the top holding in the ARK Innovation ETF with an 11.26% weight. Tesla is currently fifth in the ARK Next Generation Internet ETF with a 6.58% weight. Tesla also ranks first for ARK Autonomous Technology and Robotics ETF ARKQ with a 15.03% weight. It is no secret that ARK is a huge Tesla bull and that its CEO Kathy Wood is one of the biggest Tesla bulls of all. Now, although the average analyst rating on Tesla stock is buy, predictions for the company's future stock price vary greatly. In fact, Tesla stock forecasts are more variable than nearly any other company in the S&P 500. This is in large part because of the boom or bust mentality many have about the company, which pits short-term and long-term investors against one another ideologically. In the bullish camp, analysts and investors believe that Tesla will continue to take the leading role in the electric vehicle revolution that has finally gained traction. Bolstering their argument are the price cuts that helped Tesla achieve record deliveries in the second quarter of 2023, with the expectation of record sales in China as well. According to Reuters, Dan Ives, an analyst at Wedbush Securities, said the price cut's a smart poker move for Tesla and paying major dividends in the field, especially for the China market. Tesla bulls also believe the company will lead in other green energy fields, such as solar panels and energy storage devices. Meanwhile, bearish analysts and investors feel that the company will fail to live up to expectations and will just become another production company rather than something innovative and special. Bears view the company as overvalued, overly subsidized, and susceptible to competition. As you are all aware, that competition seems to be heating up. For one, Chinese EV maker BYD, among others, is about to begin delivery of a direct rival to Tesla's Model Y under its Denza brand. Denza has really been under the radar for a few years, but BYD is ready to show off its rejuvenated brand, and the media blitz points to their confidence in the product and their desire to keep pressure on the incumbents. Tu Li, founder of the China-based advisory firm Sino Auto Insights, as reported by CNBC. And BYD is not the only strong competitor to Tesla. In light of that, which way will the Tesla stock forecast go? 
Well, whether or not Tesla stock hits $335 within 12 months, falls to $24.33, or trades somewhere in between will likely depend on whether its catalysts outweigh its risks in the eyes of investors or vice versa. It doesn't help that in late June, Goldman Sachs analyst Mark Delaney became the third Wall Street analyst to downgrade Tesla in less than a week. Delaney downgraded Tesla to neutral from buy while boosting his price target from $185 to $248. Delaney's move reflects a common theme in the downgrades. Tesla stock has done so well that it's hard to see it doing better to close out the year. We believe the stock now better reflects our positive long-term view of the company's growth potential and competitive positioning post the substantial move higher year-to-date, Delaney wrote in a note. Morgan Stanley's Adam Jonas put it simply, I did not see this 111% year-to-date rally coming. It's an understandable stance from Jonas after 2022 saw Tesla shares fall nearly 70% as its CEO Elon Musk purchased a social media company and the EV maker began to lose market share to competitors. What does help, though, are the bulls like Wedbush Securities Managing Director Dan Ives, who is back beating the drum. He even wrote that Tesla has built an EV castle, referring to the growing paths for revenue such as the supercharger network that now includes partnerships with key competitors like Ford, F, General Motors, GM, and Rivian, RIVN. Although, as can be expected, some analysts are questioning how long-lasting some of the current growth drivers will be. Jonas at Morgan Stanley highlighted that the AI-related positive stock action could be a concern. While we understand why Tesla is getting a serious mention in an AI conversation, we believe a re-rating on this theme is in the realm of the non-disprovable bull case. Jonas wrote, Autonomous driving and generative AI still remain, in our view, two very different technological disciplines. While the market may want to dream on the AI theme, we'd prepare to wake up to the sound of a blaring car horn. Barclays analyst Dan Levy agrees with Jonas that the AI narrative has likely been too far priced into Tesla stock. Levy downgraded Tesla to equal weight from overweight in the same month. While we are surprised that the stock has participated in the rally, we believe it's prudent to move to the sidelines, Levy wrote. In light of this, what are the things that work in Tesla's favor and what don't? While the future is unpredictable, some bullish ideas are supporting investor interest in Tesla stock. First is that competitive pricing has broadened its appeal to the masses. Another is Musk's shift to focus from Twitter back to Tesla, which resulted in good results. In relation to this, Ross Gerber, president and CEO of Gerber Kawasaki Inc., told Yahoo Finance, We have just seen full-fledged how Elon's focus makes such a huge difference in the results. He said this addressing the recent increase in Tesla share prices. In addition to Musk's undivided focus, Tesla continues to dominate the e-vehicle market, even in the face of competition. Consequently, Tesla stock valuation has tumbled thanks to last year's falling price and its rising earnings. Also, what many are not aware of is the fact that Tesla actually has three segments. But don't worry, this is something even many investors don't know yet, but will learn. In addition to its e-vehicle division, the company has an energy generation and storage division and a services and other division, both of which are growing rapidly. On the other hand, part of the reason Tesla stock can be volatile is that it has inherent risks. One of them is Musk's purchase of Twitter. Some analysts fear that between that and SpaceX, his space exploration company, he might have his hands full instead of simply focusing on Tesla. Another thing is that car deliveries may fall below expectations. Tesla reported record Q2 deliveries and forecast high expectations for sales in China, its largest market. Failure to reach that bar could erase recent gains. And of course, a recession is still possible. This risk isn't Tesla-specific but could greatly damage the buying power of consumers for the company's higher-priced vehicles. Likewise, competition in the electric vehicle space will only grow. With new mandates for internal combustion engines to be phased out of existence, every car maker is now incentivized to produce e-vehicles. But despite all this, Tesla continues to thrive and remains to be the EV leader so far. Subscribe for more.